Joe, you mentioned that Pat had not started since September 30th. He has not won a game since September 14th. Only complete game shut out of the year against the Cubs. Perez leading it off. Five out of 18 in this LCS, 10 out of 35 of the postseason with three RBIs. And the count one and one. Pat Henkin making his third postseason start. He made two starts in 93 with the Toronto Blue Jays, the world champion Blue Jays. A fastball poured in for strike two. He lost in the LCS to the White Sox. He won game three of the World Series over Philadelphia, a 10 3 win. When he went six innings, allowed one run on five hits. Former Cy Young Award winner and a three time All Star. And right now, his job is to turn in, and Tim's already mentioned it, according to Tony La Russa, five solid innings here tonight. A 1 2 to Perez. Got him to chase it. But Perez fouls it out of play, still one and two. That's the location, even though it was high, but that's the area that uh, Pat Henkin wants to control the night, the left side of the plate. As you are looking at it right there, inside to a left hander, outside to a right hander. Breaking ball, grounded up the middle, another hit for Perez. Blowing away, ball one. Edgardo with a 10 game postseason hitting streak dating back to game five of last year's NLCS against Atlanta. He's hitting all eight in this postseason for New York and the throw to first. find it interesting that Carlos Hernandez the Cardinal catcher has changed the color of his catching gear last night had gray catching gear and tonight in my mind at least either one of two reasons one superstition two to make Henkin feel more comfortable on the mound and I'll tell you why in a moment there goes Perez swing and a miss throw down safe Perez will go to third and he's there with nobody out Stolen base, E2, runner at third, nobody down. We keep talking about how the Cardinals should run, and it's the Mets and Perez who continue to run. A poor pitch to handle by Hernandez, a short hop to Vina, and Perez... He has become a one man first inning wrecking crew for the Mets. Now the 1 1 to Alfonso is ripped to short under the glove of Renteria, and the Mets are on top 1 to nothing. Now 1 on, nobody out. It's a hit for Alfonso. That's how they've scored it to give him an 11 game hitting streak, and he's hit now in all. Nine that the Mets have played in this postseason, four against the Giants. This is game five of the NLCS. Here's Piazza, nobody out. And the count goes to 2 0. Starting pitching for the Cardinals in this NLCS in the first inning has been atrocious. Henkin gave up a leadoff hit to Perez. Stole second, went to third in the throwing error by Hernandez. Perez scored on the hit by Alfonso, and now 3 0 on Piazza. Piazza, not normally a hitter who likes to swing 3 0. Tailing back, but low, ball four, two on, nobody out. Runners on at first and second, nobody out, and a strike from Henkin. for 
third is Piazza. 2 0 New York in the first. A taste getting better and better. A 2 0 Mets lead in the first. Seal with first and third. Nobody out. Takes ball one. His average climbing upward with a six for 15 performance in this LCS. Since league championship series went to a best of seven format in 1985 only one team has come back down three games to one to advance to the World Series. That was at the expense of the Cardinals in 96 on the part of the Braves. But a much different story there. The Braves were the kind of pitching they had lined up for the final three games. Just blew the Cardinals away. The Cardinals starting Henkin tonight. They're iffy on Bennis if there is a game six. And they would have to go back to Kyle in game seven if they got there. Two balls, no strike. Seal takes a strike, and it's two and one. Cardinal infield about halfway. They will give up a run for the double play ball. Two balls and a strike. Seal grounds one to second. Vina kicks it. Dropped at first by Clark into score Piazza. 3 0 Mets. And Zeal's on at first with only one out. Very quietly, Benny Agbayani has hit in every postseason game this year for the Mets. And this LCS, 5 out of 15. Hitting 333 in the postseason. 2 0. But Joe and Tim, it's very clear down here at field level. The ground balls are staying down, hugging the ground. The tarps, of course, were on the field all afternoon. There is still some moisture on the grass and on the dirt as well. The ball that got under Renteria's glove and the ball that Vina misplayed at second, both hugging the ground. 2 0 to Agbayani's a strike. The official scorer on the ball hit by Zeal has charged an error to the first baseman, Clark. And has taken the RBI away from Zeal. At any rate, it's 3 0. Two errors on the board now for St. Louis here in the first inning. And a 2 1 pitch coming to Agbayani. 3 and 1. That's one of the few times that I have seen an error given because you cannot anticipate a double play. Clearly, it wasn't one given to Vina. But had Clark made the catch, it would have been clearly a double play. It is odd for an error to be given on that play. Three balls and a strike. Agbayani takes a walk. Second walk of the first inning for Henkin. Two on, one out. Payton takes a strike. There's Reams. In case you're wondering, with six or more days of rest since the start of 98, Henkin. Is 4 and 0 in five starts with an ERA of under two and a half. But the stats cannot support what he would do on 16 days of rest. There's another hit. Zeal held up at second, and the bases are loaded with only one out. The first man to the plate for the Mets. And now here's Bordick with the bases loaded, one out. Mets already leading by three. Bordick, who is hitless in this series, up there ready for the first pitch. He's 0 for 9 in the count 0 and 1. And it's important for the infielders to determine the speed of a ground ball. If the ball's not hit sharply and crisply, they must come home and forego the double play. Nothing and one the count on Bordick. One ball, one strike.
Last two games, these Mets, nine out of 17 with runners in scoring position. That's a big out for Henkin and the Cardinals with a pitcher coming up as Clark puts it away. Infield fly rule in effect, two out. Two out of five at the plate in this postseason. He was going to swing at the first pitch when he woke up this morning. 0 and 1. Mike with 20 hits on the season. Not only is he a good hitter, he's a fast runner. On a slowly hit ball, he'll be running hard down the line. 0 and 2. Bases loaded, two out, the 0 2 pitch. Hampton lunging. He held up, one and two. Did he go too far? Nah, not even close. 20 hits during the regular season and 73 at bats. One shy of a Mets club record. Doc Gooden holds that record. The 1 2 pitch. But low, two and two. Got him looking, and a long first inning is over for Pat Henkin. The Mets come up with three runs, four hits, a couple of walks. Two errors, and they leave three. Timo time. First inning production for the Mets. 3-0 New York after one.